Chris Thomason along with Brian Murphy out at Winter Park. Another interesting Vikings week. Again, off the field news. Fill us in a little bit on the Aaron Henderson situation, Brian. Yeah, kind of in rapid fire here. Aaron Henderson, as we first reported this morning, was arrested last week in Eden Prairie on suspicion of driving while intoxicated and being in possession of a controlled substance. This happened uh, in the early morning hours of Tuesday the 19th. He did not practice Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday Friday for what was deemed personal reasons by Coach Leslie Frazier. Did not make the trip or play in Green Bay. Audi calls started in his place. Come to find out, he was arrested in Eden Prairie, blew a point uh, one one uh, breathalyzer. He's now suing the state, trying to retain his driver's license, which was revoked as a result of this. He was not booked into the Hennepin County Jail, has not been charged, but he did come out today and acknowledge that arrest, as did the team. Um, this is the third arrest in uh, less than three weeks involving Vikings players after a pretty quiet couple of years on that front. Um, Henderson uh, dressed, kind of was a vague with it again today, but said he's dealing with some personal issues that may or may not have been connected to that arrest. He's trying to address that himself. Didn't want to go into too many specifics, but it's fair to say that there's a lot hanging over his shoulders, he- over his head, and how the team handled that and addressed that in the last week. Come on the heels of that, cornerback A.J. Jefferson, who was released Monday following his arrest for domestic assault, was charged today with felony strangulation of his girlfriend. Some pretty ugly uh, details in that complaint. He's still in the Hennepin County Jail, $40,000 bail. Team released him shortly after that incident right now. But it kind of feeds into this notion that there's a lot going wrong with the Vikings on and off the field, both uh, especially on the defense where they're already banged up and wounded. Now they've got two players that are dealing with one is now longer with the team and another one dealing with a personal situation. Yeah, on the field, Coach Leslie Frazier said that Audie Cole will start for Aaron Henderson at middle linebacker. Audie Cole kind of came from nowhere a little bit, had 13 tackles in the overtime 26-26 tie last week. So it's going to be interesting to see what type of competition there might be at middle linebacker the rest of the season, although Audie Cole could play some outside linebacker as well. And A.J. Jefferson, while... He he was a part-time starter last year, okay player. That hurts the cornerback depth. Xavier Rhodes suffered a concussion against the Packers. He's questionable this week. Leslie Frazier is optimistic they'll get him ready, but they're thin at cornerback, and we know how bad that secondary's been this season regardless. So uh, these per- these off-the-field situations are certainly affecting the on-the-field situations as well. And it's kind of overshadowed the fact that they do have a game at home against the Chicago Bears, a team with a lot at stake in kind of that wide-open NFC North race. They're reeling a bit both injury-wise at the quarterback position. Jay Cutler won't play, and you know they're coming off a loss against Detroit at um, or no, they're coming off again. They're coming off a loss, but there's still there's still so much at stake for other teams. The Vikings, I think, they're trying to embrace the spoiler role if they can, because obviously at two eight and one, it's not looking good for any kind of a run that they could maybe make a late season run. But there's a lot at stake, and maybe there's some maybe role that they can embrace as a spoiler. Yeah, Jared Allen probably said it the best last week. Hey, our, our season's already ruined. Let's uh, ruin somebody else's season. There's a couple things to look for. Adrian Peterson, three yards shy of 1,000, 154 yards shy of 10,000 for his career. If he does it in the next two games will be the third fastest ever to get to 10,000. He would. He's played 100 games, so if he does it this weekend, that's 101, or if not 102. First place, Eric Dickerson is 91. Jim Brown is 98. Barry Sanders, 103. That's something to look at. And finally, some continuity at the quarterback position. Christian Ponder will make his sixth start and uh, his ninth this season. So yeah. at least there's a few things, I guess, to look at on the football field. And countdown for the Dome. Three more games in the life of that stadium. This week, Philadelphia, and then the season finale against Detroit. And then they're going to blow that thing up. So, you know, if you have any memories you want to cherish or a seat you'd like to grab, maybe now's the time to get over there. So we'll leave on that note. Three more Metrodome games left. Three arrests in the last two and a half weeks. This has been Chris Thomason and Brian Murphy signing off from Winter Park.